Now what we want to do is get the little grill markings on there. So in order to do that, I take some of the brown food color. I'm just going to use this lid to put it in. Take a little brush, paint it on the toothpick, like so, and come on over to your hot dog at an angle and push down. Okay, and then you might need to add a little bit more. Go to the next one. And the nice thing is, even if it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be a solid line because that, that almost looks a little more realistic to me just, you know, because that's exactly what would happen on the grill. It would kind of sear into it and uh, be a little lighter inside. So those are your hot dogs. We'll put this aside. Put our hot dogs aside. Now I'm going to do my little shish kebabs. So for shish kebab, I need this um, ivory colored fondant. Just need to knead it up a little bit. And chicken, I mean chicken is just all, you know, on the kebabs, they're all usually different sizes and just cut, they're kind of chunks. I mean, it's nothing in particular. If you think it should look a certain way, then just kind of play around with it. And I, I, I mean, that could be a piece of chicken, like, you know. Maybe do one a little larger, one a little smaller. Voila, instant chicken. <laughs> chicken chunks. Now for the chicken chunks, take some petal dust, and this is a cocoa color. And just kind of brush it a little bit, just make it look like it's um, got a little bit of color. So now we need a little bit of pineapple here for our kebabs. We're just going to do one little piece, roll it into a ball, and then if I put it right here and roll back and forth, it's more of a cone shape, and then we'll just kind of flatten it. So it's kind of like a little triangle piece for the pineapple. <laughs> 